hello guys welcome back to another tutorial video so in this tutorial video we will gonna see how to create a time series ndvi graph or time series uh, ndvi data in a matter of minutes using the google earth engine so for analyzing the time series ndvi data for a particular region of interest or for any area of interest of yours it takes huge amount of time because you need to download the 10 years data then you have to pre-process it then you have to calculate the statistics for the particular location then draw the graph so it may take a quite a, a huge amount of time but using the google earth engine you can do that in a matter of seconds because all the data is sitting on the cloud you just you just have to call the data and you have to just call the algorithms and all so i'll be showing you how to do that quickly using the modis data because modis data is the long uh, long term from the, i think 2000 it is available then if you want to study for the sentinel and lens also i will show you how to do that so first of you will be you have to sign up for the google earth engine that you can do it very easily if you have a google account or gmail account you just sign up you can go here and click on the sign up and, and they will confirm your account you will get the confirmation email and just you have to come here uh, earthengine.google.com and platform just click on the code editor so this is the code ed uh, code editor will open in front of you so here we'll write the code here we will up upload our shape files or raster files whatever things you can upload your own data basically here like i have uploaded a lot of shape files i'll show you why these shape files are needed then these are the scripts you can save your scripts and this is the console where all your results will <coughs> will load and everything and this is the map where your layers and everything will be loaded so first of all <coughs> we will search for the data set so you can go on google engine data set because we want to access the modis data so you can click on the data set otherwise you can search here also modis like this so uh, first we will see how to do that in the modis so we'll search modis product name mod 13 q1 so we'll access 13 q1 means 16 day and dvi composite 250 meter so we'll use the latest version uh, 006 we'll import it otherwise you can search here also like as you can see modis is available land set and so here if you search for 13 q1 you will get here all the information if you click here you will get all the information how to import and everything what are the bands and everything so otherwise i will just search here mod 13 q1 and just import it so like i have already imported it just i will rename it to modis now you just i will create two variables two dates start date and end date between which i want to analyze the data and dvi data so just uh, let me go for 2020 zero one zero one and then i will create another variable and date and let me just give uh, 2020 and uh, uh, 12 31 so it, i I'll, I'll show you for one year you can do it for 20 years 13 years 15 years whatever it's all depend on the data availability so just now after that i will filter the data i will create a, uh, like images is equal to you can give any name modis so this modis collection dot filter and i will filter between the dates so this there are docs are available you can go on the filter here and you can see how to filter between date ee dot filter dot date just i will write ee dot filter dot date sorry oh, okay i'm not typing i'm not typing it anything if, uh, e dot filter dot date and just you give bracket and you have to give the start date and end date so you, either you can give uh, directly type the dates here otherwise you can give the variables it's all depends on you and now if you print this you will see the images if you run this code you will be able to see how many images it is loading between the 23 elements as you can see here from 1 1 20 16 then 17 because 16 day composite there till this and lot of bands are there any of the band you can analyze these are the bands and dvi evi so all this information also given here so now uh, if you want to do for suppose if you give for 19 so if you run it it will give you more 46 elements so you can analyze for the n number of period depending on the availability of the data now after that what we will do 
so we have filtered our data now we have to we need not to calculate NDVI because NDVI is readily available so we, we have to just select the NDVI data and we have to scale it because right now if you go for this description NDVI value you have to scale it for 10,000 you have to divide it by 10,000 to make it to, so this is the scale factor kind of thing so what we will do here again we will write a function so it will scale all the images all these 23 elements so we'll create a function where scaling is equal to function image and here we'll create another where scaled is equal to uh, image dot select first we will select the ndvi band because we want to use the select because we no need not to create ndvi otherwise you can create the ndvi also but here only we have to select the ndvi band directly so we'll just type here you can do for ND EVA also like you can see this is the ndvi band i'm using this one then uh, divided by because we want to scale factor is 0 0.001 as you can see in this divided by 10,000 then you can type return scale so it will return the, it, it will run this function we will map this function to all the images so it will return everything so one more thing we want to do here dot copy properties so we want to copy the properties of this so what it will do it will copy the properties from each of the images if you go for the properties here you will see this system index and time start so we want to copy this thing because this is how we will know okay for, for which date this data is so after that we will just create another variable scaled and dvi and we will map <coughs> we will map uh, this function to these images So uh, simply we will uh, copy this uh, sorry this is our uh, collection of images images dot map and bracket and we will write this function scaling function here so now if we will run this and we'll run print scaled and dvi So now if I run this, so it will, in all the images, it will select NDVI, it will scale it. It, is, it will create another collection, this is the collection. So in this you will find only one band, NDVI, and float value you can see here, NDVI. So like this, we have selected the NDVI band and we have scaled it to make it between minus one and plus one. Now, so we have scaled band, uh, all the NDVIs inside. Now, <coughs> if you want to, if you want to see this NDVI or you want to uh, basically on the onto the map so what you can do either you can take a mean you can create another where ND variable so what you can do scale NDVI dot you can, if you take me uh, you can take max also you can take first also whatever you can do like this after that you can add this to map map dot add layer bracket then you just you have to give the name nd because this because right now this is the collection of images so what i have taken dot first min it will take the first image you can take min max everything i'll show you then comma then here you have to give the what colors you want to give or everything just give like this then minimum value uh, let me zero because negative value is very less then maximum value is one and then we have to define some kind of palette between which color you want to uh, keep this 
so let me give palette uh, sorry not this one this one uh, so it will start from white and lowest value will be white and highest value one will be let me give green so it will give zero value uh, it will show zero value as a white and this is as a green and after this just comma and whatever name you want to give let me give ndvi so now if i run this code it should add ndvi first one i yeah as you can see for whole world it is showing this because data is for whole world so one more thing you can do if you want to suppose i want to see for india so just create one ay here switch off this so as you can see geometry is there if you copy this and just after this you here make it clip geometry so now it will clip for this and it, it will add that NDVI. Okay, spelling is wrong. Just run it. So now it will add for the country. So out of those images I have taken first, you can make it min, max, everything. Max. So it will take the maximum of all the images, all these images between these two. So a main objective is not like not, not to do like this. The main objective is to basically uh, to create an time series NDVI. So suppose your area of interest, let me just go for, let me just go for first here, no problem. If I, and so uh, our main goal is to basically create a time series NDVI of your particular area of interest. So you can, what you can do, do th two, three things you can do. Suppose for this area, if you, you you have a point, you can add a marker. If you have a polygon, you can you can create a new layer here. Geometry two. You can give any name like R O I. Let me give just R O I. Geometric feature collection like this. So you can create any polygon. Suppose I create a polygon here. So ROI is there. So for this particular re re region of interest, I want to create a time series NDVI. So what you will do? After that, simply we will create a chart. So we, what we have to do? We have to create a chart only. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you go inside this docs, uh, your UI. If you go for chart, so you find here chart image because you want to create a chart from image. So we'll create a variable CHA chart. CHRD chart and we will see from okay uh, so we want to use this one either this one or we can use reason if you have multiple region or th these two we can use series by region or series both we can use so let me just go for this let me just copy this okay or also you can give na, any name here let me just give class uh, value is one okay here when you create a polygon you can give any attribute property to that also okay so now we'll add chart and then i will copy the ui chart image to series by region these these all are things we have to basically uh, give the input for all these things like image collection so we'll make a call on image collection is your collection of images so on a scale and way i want to do so I, have, I will select this i will give the name here scale and dvi then i will put regions you have to give region and you can give this roi which you have created roi then reducer average you want to take min max so simply write ee dot reducer dot mean like this you write if you want to do for max mean you can write change it here and after that i think uh, scales okay 
scale is nothing scale is just the resolution of your image you just write 250 and series property if you have multiple region so you can give the uh, series property let me just leave it for now and here just have to close this and I will print chart so if I run this so for this particular region it will take a mean and it will create a graph as you can see if you click here you can see this ND wave from this 2022 December and you can download this as CSV and everything so how quickly it has created further you can uh, you can change the properties dot properties option is there for graph so you can change so many things name and everything here but right now I'm just showing showing you how quickly you can do other properties can be changed if you <coughs> Uh, if you uh, see the documentation of Google things you can find how to change all these things but how quickly you get, you have analyzed the data and you have created the time series data so this is for one series as you can see so if I create another polygon suppose uh, another layer and I will give the name of this ROI1 and I will let me just class 2 Okay, like this so now ROI ROI one you have uh, create one polygon for this also I will select this I will create a point so instead of polygon you can just sample the point like this marker also you can so for that particular point it will create those things so now here what I have to do what you can you can merge this ROI and ROI ROI and ROI one into one what I will do where I will write uh, Mm, AOI I will give another name AOI is equal to ROI dot merge ROI 1 so it will merge these two and I have given the name class value 2 and here I have given the class value 1 so here regions I will select instead of ROI AOI okay now there was one option which we have not taken let me just go again uh, this one series property so you just I will put here series property and I will just give the attribute name which is class 1 and 2 which we have taken now if I print this so we will do two different profiles for one for this region one for this region and here this is the value for this so like this you can create n number of uh, uh, you can create multiple this so if you do if you don't want to create polygons you have a shape file kind of thing so you can upload inside asset you can go for new shape file you can upload your shape files here like then select the source files and everything give the name and you will be able to upload the shape file so i have already uploaded as you can see a lot of shape files are there so simply what I will do, I will just, you just go to this shape file, whatever you have uploaded, just click here, just make sure it is in the GCS projection. So like this is the table, I will give the name, let it be table only, but I will filter it. Uh, where, let me just give name dist to it, table dot, again I will filter it. And uh, you can always use the these docs for filtering and everything. As you can see, this we will use this one filter equal. But I want to filter it for two three districts because this is the district shape file. The multiple so many polygons are there. So you can use greater than there will be a or option definitely there will be or yeah, this one ee filter or so what i will do ee dot filter so it should be capital filter dot or after that i will give an another here ee dot now i will give filter here i will give these names whatever name i want uh, name attribute name so i i should know what are the attributes so under columns I will see district name so I will just write here uh, 
district name comma and what should be the name let me go for any karnal district and i will make a comma again and for another one also i will do or means you can take multiple uh, so let me go for um, what should i go for let me go for jaipur okay invalid dist name let me just check okay it should be equal uh, filter dot eq okay sorry here also eq so now for if i run this it should run okay it's fine so now this is my two districts i have filtered from my whole shape file so i want to use this so i will select this dist and directly i will write this here dist and here in the class i will give the dist name the name of that particular district if i run this now you will see you just remove this to no need it will create the graph for the two districts as you can see karnal and jaipur for these two districts if you change the date here let me go from 18 just run it so it will create the uh, ndvi graph from this so as you can create multiple uh, suppose i will add another one so just copy this comma so as you can see here now for karnal and jaipur so it is easily showing that jaipur is having lower ndvi values and you can always always export this and download as a csv <coughs> let me just give another name in some other state uh let me go for baksar the bihar district let me or let me go for any drought prone kind of district i'm think of kurnool this andhra pradesh let me just check okay here extra token is there so i will just remove this just you run it so now it should create a graph for 3 so either you can draw it you can draw the point line polygon anything or either you can import your shape file and based on that it will do and here you can change based on your uh, filter based on that so i will now you can save this script save as and let me just give anything mode is time series ndvi now you can see here i have a ndvi graph for 3 jaipur karnal kurnool over the period of these three things so I, you can save this so this script will be saved somewhere mode is time series ndvi so now our base thing is done now if you want to do it for sentinel the same thing you want to do for sentinel <coughs> so it's uh, let me just uh, just you have to change for sentinel you have to search here sentinel data go for sentinel earth engine catalog here and go for sentinel 2 surface reflectance product 17 it is available for 17 so this is you have to you can you can click here or import directly so what i will do i will search here sentinel 2 like this sentinel 2 level 2 this one i will just click import so data has been imported i will remove modis from here let me just remove modis just i will give sentinel okay there is the image collection for sentinel 23 bands are there after that start date let me just let it be like this only start date end date this here only just use make it sentinel simple as that 
between print images then here directly we had ndvi but in case of sentinel we don't have ndvi band we have to create ndvi so in this function we will change slightly a little bit we will just create here normalized difference normalized difference between two bands we will see we have to i will just close this charts first we have to create between normalized between oh, sorry uh, where is my this one yeah oh. yeah this one only so here you have to create normalized difference automatically it will create and nir minus red nir plus red you have to give the band name only so i know band 8 is my nir band and band 4 is my red band as you can see here this is my red band band 8 is my nir so you have to simply nir minus it will create an, uh, 8 minus 4 8 plus 4 automatically and let it be like this so i just i will change it to scaling instead of scaling i will change it to ndvi i will change it to nd nd let me give ndv ndv no problem so yeah it will create now here instead of this it will create you just let it be ndvi images dot map and give the function ndvi so nothing we have changed we have to change the function because in modis ndvi is readily available here and ndvi is not readily available so we are creating ndvi and simply for every image between these two dates it will create the ndvi and it will create a new collection here after that simple as that <coughs> again we are you can clip clip this image if you want to so if, if you want to show the image so you can clip either on the base of let me just go for this disk only this will take for three these three districts so uh, instead of scale ndvi we will change it to ndvi everything will change ndvi dot first it will take the first image then clip and it will uh, based on this it will clip then map dot add layer again it is same similarly then aoi again the same a roi will not work because it may be may be a possibility the data is not available for this because modis data is regular whole country whole world available but sentinel is not like that so one thing we, we can do here after that filtering we can filter for, further here for bounds dot filter bounds so it will filter the data for particular bounds either you can select any geometry or you can uh, select this disk my shape file which i have given like this so it will take the images inside this these three districts only or if you want to draw you can draw here here also i will show that also so now this is this okay now if i run this just i have to change here this one So now instead of the whole India, the image it will filter for these bounds, dist, this for Karnal district, Jaipur district and Karnal district. Because the sentinel data is quite huge, that's why it is taking too much of time. So as you can see 1460 images, then it has created a 1460 uh, NDVI definitely. If you go over feature, see how many images are there my god so now it will create the chart for that it may be a possibility it may not create due to the memory usage Let me just reduce it for some single district then you will see otherwise it, otherwise it may take too much of time so 
let me go for one district only initially so only 288 elements are there as you can see now image is loaded perfectly for this karnal district because we have taken one district so this is images are coming and it is it is generating the chart see user limit exceed that's why so let me just instead of dist let me just create another uh, i will delete this roi so here i will create some points let me just delete this geometry also uh, let, me, let me create point okay it has created now as you can see it, it took so much of time but how it is because somewhere it is negative value or zero values there images is not available that's why it is like this so if i go for point suppose this point geometry and now if i go for this geometry here and if i will instead of this i will give geometry here if i run this okay i will just make a comment of this so i think it may uh, create it now it has created pretty quickly because for this particular point it has created the ndi profile so this is how you can create the ndi profile you can make it again dist and oh okay this is the scale is 250 meter you can make it 10 meter or something geometry so we because the resolution of sentinel one is 10 meter so like this you can create like this so here if you make it class 1 and i will create another layer geometry 1 class 2 and i will create this another point here now if i give this i will merge this aoi is geometry geometry 1 so now if i'll give it aoi here and instead of this i will give the name class because we are using class 1 and class 2 So if I run this, it it may it will create two profiles for class one, class two. So here you can always go for the docs and you can see it has created this class one, class two different anyways. So you can try all this if you you can try simple all this also for single one region. See. one region means if i use this one if i make it image dot series let me just save it first i will write it sentinel okay so if i use this by instead of by region i will use this series let me just show you here so it will create only you have to make it region and uh, this I, i have to remove class also so now if i run this it will create only one thing only one profile i think so as you can see for these two it has created the mean also whether i will make it dist or anything 
if you create n number of points also it will take the mean of all those points like this it will average it out so if you want for multiple you have to buy region for if different different region it will create different uh, profiles so that you have to see you want to do for single series or you want for multi multi uh, different region you want different profile so like this one so i will save this so this is how you can create a time series also you can if you want to if you want to visualize any image if you want to visualize the particular image also you can visualize the particular image uh, because 288 elements are there so you can visualize a particular image that if you want to do uh, so here let me just add somewhere here yes uh where an image is equal to let me just go from this one i will take this feature collection images dot because i have to filter filter based on ee filter eq ee dot filter dot eq here then this system index that's why we have kept this system index if you take any of these images let me go randomly select uh, for 82 properties system index will be there somewhere this is a system index just copy this and comma like this and then you can click frst first okay so now this is our image and i have to just add this so again map dot add layer bracket name of the image send underscore image uh, comma again you have to give minimum maximum bands value so i will give like this, sorry not like this like this then bands because rgb composite you have to create so let me go for b8 i will make a false color composite b4 and b3 so bands are done <coughs> then we have to give a minimum maximum value also let me just give comma minimum zero maximum 4000 and after that you just have to give the name whatever name you want to give let me give code fcc fcc so if i run this now it should okay equal there is some problem okay here it should be capital so now it will add the fcc and ndvi ndvi is for first image not for that image for the first image on this collection first one but here for this system uh, we have selected some random image so like this you can add this ndvi image also and in the later part i will show you how to create a spectral profile because this have this is having lot of bands so how you to create a spectral this is the time 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 based profile so if you have 23 bands so you can create a temporal profile sorry spectral profile also based on your region or point so i will show you that in the next tutorial so let me just save this also and similarly uh, th this kind of thing you can do for similarly for modis also you could have done if you want to see the modis uh, <coughs> uh, for modis also you want you want to do add the images so you could have done like pretty simply where modi i am is equal to simple images dot filter let me go for e dot filter dot eq again from this collection just select any date let me go for how many images are there okay this is okay let me just first run it 
because we want to select any any of the image let me go for first one only here properties just select this one system index so i will here this one and here system index okay we have filtered the image and if you want to clip it for india also then you can add clip geometry and after that you can simply again add map dot add layer uh, mod underscore im again you have to select the bands and just we have to check for moody's then what are the band names you click here you'll see the band name <coughs> so this is blue and i are red okay so two one uh, two one three so just i will give the bands two one and three and after that just give minimum maximum value minimum value is zero and maximum value is let me check it from here 10,000 here like this and just to give the name of the image and let me just give FCC simple as that so if I run this <coughs> okay clip is not so just you just write first because only single image we are doing then you have to go for the first RST now you can clip it because you need to create an image for clipping it it's a collection after that we have dot first it has taken the image so now if you'll go here you will see NDVI and FCC both as you can see for India like this so if you remove this geometry from here it will load for whole world I will save it so what I will do I will save this code bo both of this code and I will just share the link in the description so you can uh, you can run this code on your at your own end so as you can see here both the things are here and this graph is also there so I think uh, that's it guy from uh, guys from this video I hope uh, this video will help you in your analysis or maybe in future work so thank you thanks a lot for thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe the channel because i am seeing 82 percent of the people are not subscribing to the channel they are watching it so please please subscribe to the channel it takes a lot of effort to create these kind of videos and put it on the video on the youtube